everyone check it out it's the Autel Evo Nano Plus it's Brad from Sonic the Drone I'm out here at my parents house in the backyard it's a couple days before Easter just wanted to get this little mighty orange drone up in the air so we'll go ahead and try to take off here knocking that little nano plus around. So I'm in 4K30, I've got HDR on. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. Take it on out here a little bit. Whew. Poor drone's really fighting that wind. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it drop down like that. I have it out in the middle of that field and it's kind of dropping down a little bit. Pretty strong winds today. The sun was supposed to come out here. It might yet, but I'm not sure. It's like mid 30s to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. clouds moving. We're going at a pretty good clip. The latitude uh, thing in the corner on my FPV screen, it's things like almost sideways. <laughs> <laughs> really fighting that wind. I'm in standard mode. I don't know if... I'll put it in the sport mode to help it hold. This has never been a good drone for flying in the wind. I figure I'd give it a shot though. We're out across the field there. Even though it's like 40 degrees it's still and the sun is coming out in spots. I haven't had this little orange drone out in a little bit. It's a pretty good drone. One of my favorites. Only only ones I got left. Um, I just had the Potenzic Atom out. That's a really good one. I'm trying to see those clouds are going toward that way. Yeah. I know which way are they going. I'm looking up at them and it's up with the drone here. I guess I'm kind of, I guess they're kind of going this way. They're moving pretty good. Still got a pretty strong signal to the drone. I'm uh, 
I'm only 784 feet away, but I am across the street with the uh, house in between me and the drone. So let me drop that camera down a little bit. We'll head out over this way a little bit. There's breaking up right there. Let me bring it up. Says I still got full RC signal. Strong satellites, 22. I think I'm going with the wind right there. I was doing 22 miles an hour. Let me turn it around. I just wanted to get a quick flight get flight in because I know tomorrow it's supposed to rain. And then Easter Sunday, I believe it's supposed to rain all day too. Let's go out this way a little bit. Really nothing much to see out here, just trees, a lot of trees. This is the uh, Allegheny National Forest where they live. The northern... That's yeah, kind of like in the middle, kind of toward the middle of the state. Stop recording. A little bit of break up there. So yeah, you can see it out. I'm only doing nine miles per hour. Coming back this way. Definitely pretty strong wind. You can probably hear it in the uh, screen recording. Oh, seven miles per hour. Definitely want to want to make want to uh, excuse me. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be doing a range test on this. I have done range tests going out that way. Um, with some of my DJI drones when it's nice and calm. I got out pretty far. I think I took the Mavic Air, maybe the Air 2S and the Mini 2. But yeah, I definitely want to uh, try a uh, range test in this wind. I'm crawling back. Five miles per hour. Three miles per hour. It might just stop. <laughs> Let me stop right there. And... Put it in the ludicrous mode. Alright, so I'm in ludicrous mode. Let's see if we can get any faster. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, Ludacris at 15. Let's bring it on back. Sixteen. Seventeen. So Ludacris mode doing its job and that drone's coming back over here. Well you can definitely ooh. Definitely see it while it's going by. It's flipping and flopping. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can see it in the in the gimbal there. I right, almost stop right there. Put it back into now. It's in smooth mode. Back in standard mode. Trying to keep that gimbal nice and steady, but you can definitely see in the uh, attitude screen down at the left hand corner that that thing is just wiggling around a lot. <laughs> I 
I should have brought the uh, Batenza Gatum with me. Let's see how that thing did in this wind. I'd be surprised if it didn't do better, actually. It's definitely not a strong wind type of drone, this uh, Hotel Evo Nano Plus. It's more of a calm weather flyer. So I'm down to 48%. I'm going to try to do a return to home and see if it'll stick a return to home. Aircraft is returning home. Well, it's, there it goes, funny. <laughs> Still like one mile per hour. Now it's back up to 22. I didn't bring a landing pad or anything, I'm just, I took off right from this deck here, so we'll see how it does. Please pay attention to the area below. Let me go ahead and drop the camera down. There it is. It's moving. It's going the wrong way. Uh, yeah, that's way off from, my, from where I took off. So I'm going to try to cancel that. There we go. <laughs> I'm holding the camera with my hand here and trying to fly. Let me uh, bring it on back. No, I'm really not getting around. Back over. Go ahead, drop it on down. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the obstacle avoidance wouldn't let it come toward the house. Uh, the rear obstacle avoidance. I was trying to back it in. It wouldn't wouldn't let it get over by the house. But anyways, guys, there it is. The Autel Evo Nano Plus. Uh, struggling in the wind a little bit there, but. Uh, did all right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's Bragg from Source the Drone. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.